fluffy friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to read the book Hakuna Matata by Brittany Rubiano, illustrated by Therese Larson. Hakuna Matata. Once there was a little lion cub named Simba. Simba was staying with his pals Timon and Pumba at their colorful jungle pad. Timon and Pumba taught Simba how to live like them, which was turning out to be pretty great. For one, there were no rules. He could play with new friends and have snacks whenever he wanted. Even if they mostly ate bugs, best of all, he didn't have to take baths. Simba was learning a lot, like the fact that Timon loved eggs, though they were hard to come by, and that Pumba enjoyed buzzard bowling, and hedgehog bowling, and rock bowling. Really, he just loved knocking things down. Who doesn't? But the best thing Timon and Pumba taught Simba was their motto for an easy life: Hakuna Matata, which means "Don't worry." The past got you down, Hakuna Matata. Change your future. Your favorite watering hole suddenly taken, Hakuna Matata. Find a better one. Anteaters being snooty, be you, Hakuna Matata. One morning, Simba woke up with the sun, ready to pounce on the day, but it seemed Timon and Pumba were sleeping in, feeling antsy, and ready to hunt for grubs. Simba decided to go exploring without them. Soon, he found a nice open field. Where he could run around, Hakuna Matata. He thought happily. A little while later, Timon and Pumba finally awoke to find their friend missing. They decided to look for Simba in all his favorite spots. Verbal little buddy, Simba. They called to no answer. Well, this isn't good," Timon observed. "How did we lose a lion?" Pumba added, concerned. A few clearings away, Isimba was living Hakuna Matata to his heart's content. He wasn't sure how the morning could get any better. Until he found a perfect mud hole. Meanwhile, Timon and Pumba asked their friends if they'd seen Simba, but no one had. They trekked farther, and soon they found a grassy field. They were sure the cub would love, but he wasn't there either. Well, there was no denying it. Something terrible must have happened. Timon cried. Pumba gasped in horror. They were officially panicking. Uh oh. Simba, on the other hand, was trotting cheerfully along. He spotted some abandoned eggs high in a tree. Timon would love those, he thought. As he got closer, he noticed a few fallen logs. 
If those were in a pile, they'd be great for Pumbaa's log bowling. Not to mention, they were probably crawling with bugs. Simba grinned. He'd found the perfect gifts for his friends. Carefully avoiding the spray of the waterfall, he began to climb the tree. But his little claws wouldn't hold him. Not too far away, Timon and Pumbaa feared the worst. What if he fell out of a tree? What if he fell into a river? What if he fell in with the wrong crowd? Back at the tree, Simba tried to jump up to the egg-bearing branch, but yet again his claws slid down the trunk. A pair of vultures laughed at him. Hakuna Matata. Simba decided to skip the eggs. He moved onto the logs, trying to push them into a perfect bowling pile with his snout. But they were too heavy. Hmm. Meanwhile, Timon and Pumbaa were not doing well. What if he was kidnapped by a giant bird? What if he choked on a butterfly? What if he was eaten? What if he ate somebody? Just then, Simba spotted a bug on one of the logs. He crouched, getting ready to pounce. Suddenly, he had a brilliant idea. Getting a running start, Simba sprang powerfully off the biggest log, pushing them all together. He flew into the air, through the waterfall, and towards the eggs. Hakuna Matata! At that moment, Timon and Pumbaa stumbled upon the scene. Timon and Pumbaa wailed, God, no, it's worse than we thought. Simba landed and gently handed over the nest. Guys, he said, I'm glad you're here. I got some eggs for you, Timon, and Pumbaa, some bowling with a side of bugs. Timon and Pumbaa had never felt so many feelings. They were even speechless for a moment, but only for a moment. You're safe, Pumbaa finally said. Timon choked back a sob. And you got us presents! Simba stared at them. What? Were you worried? Pumbaa coughed. Us? Worried? Of course not! Don't be ridiculous! Ridiculous, Timon scoffed unconvincingly. But Simba knew exactly what his pals needed to hear right then. Hey, it's all right, he said with a wave of his paw. Hakuna Matata. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. If you liked this book, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Bye-bye and see you next time.